This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make hotkeys for toggling the dividers? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about how to make hotkeys for these divider tabs on the sides here. So there's areas on the sides of ZBrush, and these are labeled dividers. And if you click on these, these will close the right tray and also the left tray. So you can open and close these by just coming over here and clicking on these areas. So the question is asking about how to set up a hotkey so you can press a keyboard click and have this functionality happen. Unfortunately, you can't just assign a direct hotkey to these dividers. So you will have to create a macro to toggle these dividers on and off. Now the macro generation for this is one of the simplest macros you can create and it just involves one line of text. So I'm just going to go through that process on how to set this up and then also bind that to a hotkey. So the first thing we need to do is just activate macro recording. So I'm going to come up to the macro palette up here and just open this up and I'm going to just click new macro. And this is going to enable macro recording. Now you're going to get a little pop up that's going to ask you if you want to initialize ZBrush. I'm just going to say no to this. And then now I'm in macro recording. So what I'm going to do is just need to record something to generate a macro. So I'm just going to come over here and just click this divider button and then come up to the macro tab again and do end macro. Now when you click end macro, it's going to pop up a little window like so. And in here, it's going to automatically take you to your ZBrush directory and your startup macros folder. In here, you just need to create a new folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to label this as tray hotkeys. And then I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to save my first macro here as right tray. And then just click save. And that has now saved that quick macro we have just recorded. Now I just need to navigate to that folder on my machine. And once you get to this directory, you're going to see that there are three files generated. And the one we're looking for is this text document here. So I'm just going to edit this quick by simply double clicking on the text file here. And this is going to open up a text editor. So for Windows, this is going to be Notepad. And in here, I just need to change this line here that says I press comma divider. So I'm just going to change this to a new button press here. So I'm going to do I click comma 1001 and then end bracket. So this is the text here that you need to input into this file. Now after you have this inputted, just go to File Save, and now we can go back to ZBrush. And once back in ZBrush, we can now go back to the Macro tab, and we're going to click this Reload All Macros button. And this is going to reload all those macros, and we should now have a Tray Hotkeys area here in the macro, and you'll see there is a button called Right Tray. Now when you click on Right Tray, this is now going to toggle that divider. So you can see as I click this button, it's going to open and close that divider. Now, after you have this working, you can now just simply assign this to a hotkey. So assigning it to a hotkey involves just holding down Control and Alt and then clicking. And then the next click you press will assign it a hotkey. So I'm just going to press I on my keyboard here. So now I have successfully bound this macro here to the letter I on my keyboard. So now when I'm in ZBrush and I press I, it's now going to activate that macro and it's going to toggle the divider. Now you may wonder where did I get this 1001 value from? And why is that making the divider open and close? So this is a window ID. And to find a window ID for an item inside a ZBrush, you just need to go to the Preferences palette here. I'm just going to dock this to the side. And then we need to go to this Utilities area. And when you open this utilities area up, you have a bunch of different sliders through here. If you hover over these, it's going to tell you what each one of these sliders is representing. And the one we're looking for is this view windows ID number. So you'll see this number right now is set to 6226. And so when you hover over any buttons inside a ZBrush, this number is going to change. So as I hovered over this divider, you can see it's changed to 1001. So the windows ID for the divider is 1001. So with scripting, you can oftentimes just use the name of the object to correspond a press to, or you can use the Windows ID. For the dividers, you have to use Windows IDs. So by doing a I click 1001, 
it's going to tell ZBrush that when that macro is activated, it's going to click this Windows ID of 1001. And that's going to correlate to the right divider here. Now if I go to the other divider over here and scroll over this one, you're going to see that the Windows ID for this is 1000. So this one is 1001, and this one is 1000. So if I want to create another macro for this divider over here, and just go back up to the macro area, I'm going to do new macro again. I'm going to hit no to the pop-up. I'm just going to click the divider once, and then go to macro again, and do end macro. This is going to open up that directory again where those macros were stored, and it should already be in that tray hotkey area. And so now I'm just going to label this one left tray, and then click save. And now I'm going to navigate to that location. And in here, I now have a left tray file. And I'm just going to open that up in my text editor by double clicking. And here I have the left tray file here. And I'm just going to change this I press comma divider to I click comma one zero zero zero. So a thousand there for that. And then end bracket. And now save that. Now I'm going to go back to ZBrush. I'm now going to go back to the macro area up here and do reload all macros. And now you'll see I have a left tray and a right tray button here. The right tray is still assigned to I, and I'm gonna assign a hotkey now to the left tray. So I'm gonna hold Control and Alt and click, and then I'm gonna press U on my keyboard this time. So now I have the left tray set to the hotkey of U, and the right tray set to the hotkey of I. So now if I go back into ZBrush and I press U on my keyboard, it's going to toggle the left tray. And if I press I, it's going to toggle the right tray. Now after you have those hotkeys set for these macros, you wanna make sure you save these as well. So go to preferences, then go to hotkeys, and then do a store or a save, and that will allow you to save or store those hotkeys that you just created for these two macros. Then the next time you start ZBrush, these hotkeys will still be remembered, and you can start sculpting, and then just press U or I on your keyboard here to toggle those trays. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.